I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. So let's go at it this way. the end off. No point in even trying to save that end. I'm trying to pick some more of that cable sheath out of the inside of this strain relief. The more I get out of there, the more room I have to slide that up through. About halfway through the strain relief. Putting that drill bit in there gave me a little better handle on it, so I've got a little better push. I wonder if heating that up a bit would help. Now that the gun's cooled off, I always want to leave the fan run a little bit to let the gun cool off. There! That's pretty cool! Sure, I got the right size terminal. Yep, just exactly. Terminals on there really well. Got just a little extra wire sticking out there. Don't want it to get trapped underneath that screw head. Just nip it off. There. The 
flat goes against the flat in the bottom. There's a flat inside this notch, and there's a flat inside that pocket. I'm going to line those two up so it seats down in there just like we want it to. This one is round on both sides. That's nice. Got that grip really well. Now how much slack do I have in here? This is the switch gear. The switch goes in just like that. So I have a black wire and a white wire coming up. And I have a pretty good sized cavity above them. So I think I can make these as long as those and give myself some room. What I want to do is use these wire connectors to join them. I think the red ones are a little too small. Let's give it a shot. Well, the red one actually fits really well. Okay, red ones it is. Now these crimpers are meant for insulated connectors and the red ones go in the small out at the point. That's what I was afraid of. Crimp them too tight and you can snip that wire right off. And it went a little too hefty on the crimp. So, I want to be a little lighter, and I want to crimp back here, not out near the end, back here in the middle. There, I got a good grip.
Yep. Okay. White, white. Nice snug crimp and black to black. Okay, that's nice and snug. Attach the ground wire. The terminal on the ground wire has to come out the side. I had it pointed this way the first time, then I moved it and had it pointed that way. There's two bosses, one there and one there. This interacts with that ring terminal and stops it from seating. So by doing, by moving that ring terminal around so it was between the two bosses, now it seats up just like it's supposed to. Red wire, black wire, green wire tucked into there like so and held in place There we go. Just have to be careful and gentle and fit things in where they want to go. And try and make sure I don't have any wires st stuck in some place where it's going to cause something to rub on the mechanism. I have both screws in here before I start doing any manipulation on it because I don't want to put all the load on the top screw and crack this housing. Even though it is very tough, it's not designed to be beat on. Okay, now need to put this hex nut in that pocket. that and slide this screw in and run it down. 
Now a power driver would probably make my hand a little happier. But it would make it so that I had a real good opportunity to over torque something. Just a lot of threads on a long screw. Get this first one in. I can be a little more relaxed about it because the first one will hold the housing together while I get the second one started. I think I have to coax this thing a little bit. That's got that held together. Everything looks all right. Trigger moves, locks, releases, cables attached. Put the last screw in. No shorts, no pops, no booms. I never expected to, but it's always nice when it doesn't. Very nice little drill. I have a grounded lug, a nice number 16 wire extension on it, and that's more than enough to take the load. And a strain relief on it, which I think is the best part of the whole deal. So got to have CLS, you have done well. Thank you my friend. Great idea. Now the safety Susies can leave me alone on the Black & Decker quarter inch drill. Gotta have class. I finally got your name. Thanks Gotta Have Class. It was a great suggestion. A big help. If you have any further suggestions, you or anybody else, or questions about today's video or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know, I read them all. Thanks for watching. I wonder if that's got to have class. I bet it is. Gotta have class. Fine name. Of course, if it takes that long to figure it out, maybe that's the idea so that everybody has to stop and think, what's he talking about? I know I've had to explain the old Sneelock name a few times. Still happens, not very often. <laughs>